Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about plant-like protists. Plant-like protists have the ability to carry out photosynthesis. They contain chlorophyll and they are commonly referred to as algae. Like many protists, this group of organisms have a large amount of diversity. They are unicellular algae and multicellular algae. A couple examples of unicellular algae would be first euglena. Euglena is a unique protist in that, like many protists, it's found in water. It has a flagella it uses for movement. It also has chloroplasts that can be used for photosynthesis, but it can turn into a heterotroph if it's kept in the dark. Next up are diatoms which look almost like floating crystals. They make up a large portion of the phytoplankton found in the ocean, which accounts for over 50% of the oxygen produced on Earth. And then you have the algae called the dinoflagellates, which move using two flagella. In addition, there are also multicellular algae. There are brown algae, red algae and green algae. An example would be this kelp forest. This type of algae look almost like large plants but yet they're classified as protists. So there you go plant like protists which are called algae. They're very important for every ecosystem that they're found in and they help produce a lot of the oxygen that we need here on earth. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe.